Hello Year 9 and welcome to this video edition of our traditional end of year message. Like many things this year, it's slightly different. The pastoral team decided it would be nice for you to see a smiley face uh, before we break up from school, as it were. Unfortunately, we couldn't find one, so I decided to record the message myself. This year has been a strange experience, unprecedented for all of us, staff and students alike. I remember standing in our first assembly in September, uh, talking to you, having taken over from Mrs. Hayes as your new student progress leader. And at the time, I said to you that whilst I knew some of you quite well already, I was looking forward to working with all of you and getting to know you more. As it stands now in July 2020, I'm yet to achieve this goal. And so it remains a priority for me as we head into the break before year 10 begins, that when we come back in September, I can achieve that. Looking back at the first half of this year, we've got a lot to celebrate. I was impressed by the way that we stepped up to the Key Stage 4 plate uh, and got stuck into our options and our new GCSE courses. There were some fantastic efforts for fundraising during the Advent Appeal and related events. Record numbers of you took on the challenge and opportunity of the Duke of Edinburgh Award, which I look forward to you being able to continue pursuing at some point in the future. We may not have been able to enjoy the wonderful experience that is the Year 9 retreat this year, but I hope that we'll all be able to take up opportunities in Year 10 and beyond as and when we're able to again. Perhaps the time in lockdown has prompted us to think about what's important in life and how we want to prioritise the precious time and opportunities that we've all been given. It's bizarre to think that we didn't see the end of this year in school. And next year is the final full year of school teaching as you know it, with year 11 finishing earlier for exams. It makes it all the more important that we make the most of this six weeks holiday to rest, relax, uh, safely and sensibly enjoy any easing of lockdown restrictions to make sure that we're fresh and ready to hit the ground running in September. I absolutely look forward to seeing you all then. Stay safe, you and I. God bless you and your families.